Hello guys, in this video I will be discussing water balance problems with reference to hypotonic, hypertonic and isotonic solutions. So when we place a cell in a solution, the moment of water into or out of the cell can affect its size and shape. This moment is caused by differences in solute concentration inside and outside the cell. And this leads to the concepts of tonicity. I will discuss both plant and animal cells. When animal cell, for example, red blood cell, is placed in hypotonic solution where the solute concentration is lower outside the cell compared to inside, water enters into the cell by osmosis. This moment of water creates a gradient with water molecules moving from an area of higher to an area of lower concentration. As water enters the cell, it causes the cell to swell. Unlike plant cells, animal cells do not have a rigid cell wall to provide structural support. The swelling of an animal cell can have different outcomes depending on the cell type and the duration of exposure. In some cases, the cell may swell and burst, a process known as lysis. This is because the cell membrane is not strong enough to withstand the internal pressure created by the entry of water. The situation is different for plant cell because of the presence of a rigid cell wall surrounding the cell membrane and a large central vacuole filled with water and nutrients. Most of plants live in hypotonic environments. When plant cell is placed in hypotonic solution, where the outside has less solute as compared to inside of the cell, the concentration gradient favors the movement of water into the cell by osmosis filling the central vacuole and exerting pressure on the cell wall. This pressure, known as Turger pressure, causes the cell to become firm and swollen. The cell wall prevents the cell from bursting. This state of turgidity is essential for maintaining the shape and structure of the plant as well as providing support for leaves and stems. When an animal cell is placed in a hypertonic solution, where the solute concentration outside the cell is higher than inside, water leaves the cell from higher to lower concentration, causes the cell to shrink. In animal cells, the cell membrane is flexible but not as rigid as plant cell wall. As a result, the cell can shrink and become distorted as it loses water. This process is known as crenation. In hypertonic environment like seawater, there should be ways to prevent excessive loss of water from the cell. In some cases, the cell may be able to adapt to hypertonic environment by activating mechanisms to pump ions and solutes out of the cell, which helps reduce water loss and maintain cell volume. When a plant cell is placed in a hypertonic solution or when we don't water plants, water moves out of the cell through osmosis from higher to lower concentration. As water leaves the cell, the central vacuole loses water and begins to shrink. The cell membrane also shrinks away from the cell wall and the cell loses turgor pressure. This loss of turgidity can cause the plant to wilt as the cells are no longer able to provide the structural support needed to keep the plant upright. The shrinking of cell membrane away from the cell wall is known as plasmolysis. Plasmolysis is reversible if the cell is placed back in a hypertonic solution, allowing water to re-enter the cell and the cell to regain its turgidity. Now let's discuss isotonic solution where the concentration of solutes outside the cell is equal to that of inside, so there is no net movement of water. In an isotonic solution, the animal cell maintains its shape and size. The movement of water into and out of the cell is balanced with water molecules moving in and out at equal rates. This balance is crucial for the cell to function properly and maintain its structural integrity. When a plant cell is placed in an isotonic solution where the concentration of solutes outside the cell is equal to that of inside, there is no net movement of water. However, the plant cell becomes flaccid. Flaccidity occurs because the cell is not turgid or cell's contents are no longer pressing firmly against the cell wall. This was an overview of water balance problems. Thank you for watching and do like, share and subscribe to my channel.